So now let's move further. So in our previous video, when user was successfully getting signed in, then we were sending a user this response. But instead of this response, we should send user a token. Now why we need to send the token? Because if user want to access any protected resource after getting logged in, then user sh should come along with that token, right? And then we will verify that it is the same token which we gave to the user, right? If that is the same token, then only we will allow user to access the protected resource, right? So instead of responding the user with this JSON, instead we should give user a token by which with the help of the token user can access the protected resource okay so that is why we need to give a token so i'll comment this logic right now to generate the tokens we will be using this json web token package okay so first we need to install that so here i'll be typing npm install json uh, web t o k e n and i will hit enter and let's wait for a few seconds and let this package install and there we go so now we can use it so in here we will require that so here i'll be creating a constant variable give a, i will give it a name of jwt and i will require that right require uh json web token like so now we need to create a kind of a secret key right to generate a token right so that is a kind of a sensitive information so we will be creating that inside this keys so in here you can give it a name of maybe J, jwt secret secr S E C R S E C R E T R E T. Now you can put any random words in here, but make sure that is unique and no one can guess it easily, right? So you can put whatever you want in here, right? Any random string. Okay. Let's save this and let's come to this auth routes and let's require that const. We will destructure something from require. R E Q U I R E require and from keys file so we need to go to directory up right because we are inside the uh, routes folder so we need to go to directory up and then here we have this keys file right so here we can write K E Y K E Y S like so okay now here we can destructure J W T secret right okay so now let's start coding right now let's use that J W T package so here I'll be writing const token and that will be equal to jwt right and from that i'll access sign method to generate token now we will be generating token on the basis of user id so uh, i will be accessing user id id so we have access to the id of the user from this record right uh, we have access to the save user right so this is basically a record which contains email and the password and the id right and the name right so from that from the save user saved 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 user i can access underscore id from it now i'll be assigning this in maybe in underscore id key right so i am generating a token on the basis of user id and i am assigning it in underscore id like so here now in the second argument i need to pass jwt secret which we just imported right in here yeah from keys like so now we will get the token right so now we can respond the user with that token so in here I'll, i can write res dot json and in json let's say token token will be equal to token so here you can see the key and the value both are equal so i can just condense it down to token like so so in here i am now sending a token as a response right so now let's test this let's make a request on this round and let's see if we are getting the token or not right okay so i'll be using postman for that and inside this header we have content name application say json and in, inside the body we have maybe yeah email and the password right okay so let's try to sign in i'll send a request in here and Oh, okay, my server is not running in here. So I know the my nodemon app and it is showing connected to MongoDB. Okay, so now let's do this one more time. I'll send a get request, send a post request, and I will wait for response. So invalid email or, or password. Oh, I think uh, the I this one two was not there. It was just one two three Ramesh. Let's again try this. 
maybe password was wrong okay now here you can see we are getting the token successfully right amazing yeah so i think this is it for the video we will we will continue further right we will continue further right with this concept right then things will get more clear i know this this may sound complicated to you this this will may sound little tough to you right uh, because yeah i know this json jwt and all those stuff is little tough but you will get things clear in upcoming videos right we will be coding for we will be coding more stuff with related to this jwt in the next video and you and the things will get more clear in the next video right so have patience right so nobody understand everything on the first go right i know this is little tough right but things will get clear eventually right trust me for that okay so we will continue further in the next video